Hello robot friends and welcome to KTV, your source of all things Kawasaki. I am your host Johanna and I am joined by our very own robot guru, Leif. Thank you Johanna. This episode is going to keep you on the edge of your seat. We're going to be talking about the workhorse of the Kawasaki robot lineup, the R-Series. That's exciting, so saddle up, we're going for a ride along the Kawasaki Trail. The R-Series robots are great for general purpose, small to medium payload applications, with payloads ranging from 3 kilogram to 80 kilogram, with various reach options at most payload levels. That's right. A lot of the arms have a similar base chassis, with the only difference being a change to the upper arm. For example, the RS-10L is an elongated RS-20N, and an RS-6L is similar built as a RS-10L. The common chassis can make spare parts a lot easier to handle. Another great feature of the R-Series is the IP67 rated wrist, with the rest of the arm rated for IP65. There is an option available for the entire arm to be IP67. One of the great things of these arms is the power to weight ratio of the individual joints. The lightweight arms and motor speeds provide optimum performance and carrying capacity. And if you look at how the arms are built, you can see that the individual links are slender. This maximizes the motion range of the individual joints, which minimizes the dead space within the robot's work envelope. The optimized arm design together with the integrated I.O. and pneumatic valves makes the R-Series perfect for a range of applications from packaging to press tending and everything in between. Sounds like R-Series can get the job done. That's right. Behind us, we have the newest addition to the R-Series family, the RS-7. The RS-7 introduces some advancements to the design of the arm. The first thing you'll notice is the location of Joint 2. On this model, Joint 2 is located directly above the base instead of being offset forward. This balances the reach in front and behind the robot, and it reduces the interference area around the base. This model also introduces some improvements to the individual joints giving it a best-in-class operating speed. And it comes with this. This is the new F60 controller. It's a complete re-engineering of our robot controller and features a significant reduction in power consumption. I bet you I could fit this in my backpack. That's because it's the smallest and lightest of any controller out there. And other things it can do include natively communicating via Ethernet IP, integrated vision processing, and it comes with all the other options from the previous um, controller generations. We've safely made it to the end of the Kawasaki Trail. We hope the journey has given you some inspiration for using the R-Series robots. And if you have any questions at all, please contact us at ktv at kri-us.com and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs>